All right, welcome everybody. Lambo here, all you beautiful 9,000 subscribers at the time, like 97, I don't know. But dang, we're almost at 10K, so thank you guys for that. That is really cool. We are going to continue our part two of converting this ambulance. I have it open in GE, and um, the very last error, leaving off from my last video, if you haven't seen that, top right corner, I'd recommend go watch that first. Uh, if you have no clue about what you're doing, if you're pretty advanced and you kind of know a little bit, then maybe this will help you learn a couple new tricks. Here we go, gentlemen. So in this mod, I am using a cabin lights decal because when I was creating mods for 19, I just made a template of the in-game truck and a lot of the stuff was left in it just to keep it all coded in. And I just hit it. But this cabin lights decal, it has come back to bite me in the butt. Because it has a shader on it that the game doesn't like. It can't find it in there, the dashboard lights. That's because it doesn't really work anymore. Uh, one method you could do is switch to a glow shader. And this will uh, actually allow it to work again. Ooh, let's look at it here. Instead of the lights, the dashboard light shader, you'd switch it to a glow shader. But I don't actually need it in the mod, and I'm just converting. I'm not re-index pathing anything. So for right now, I'm actually just going to hide it, remove that, remove all the crazy stuff because I don't need it. And eventually, I should delete that. But then when I delete that, I have to go in and change the index path for the RPM, fuel, all that kind of stuff. So a quick method to just remove the object from the whole uh, mod is click it, control W, this is the replace function, we're just going to go create a random transform group, load it into there, and it will replace it, and for right now we're just going to put empty used and I'll have to go in and actually remove that from inside the code but our next little thing we're gonna work on is this AI collision trigger this is not used in the game as, as like this anymore uh, so this object needs to be replaced with a transform we're just gonna go like that and we're going to do the same thing, control W, replace, and then oh, that's good. Sh under strap it. I don't really need these anymore. They are hard coded in, so I won't change it until I have the XML open in front of me. Uh, go up to here to your main component when you're looking at a, a scenograph. And you're not going to want anything outside of it like this AI collision because I created that, right? So before I hit save on my mod, I'd want to delete that. Unless you know what you're doing and there is a second component or a third or a fourth or I think you can go up to like 40 components. But if you're just converting a normal vehicle, it's probably just the one. On the topic of components, we want to make sure that your component is a couple of things. A... It is a rigid body. It has a clip distance, at least, and not 10,000, and it gives it stock weight. I put 300, usually pretty good. Next, we click on the rigid body tab. It is dynamic. It is also a compound with a collision check. This varies, this next part, this collision mask, it varies pending mods and purposes like sprayers and uh, self-propelled sprayers is what I mean, and like logging trucks, like if it has a different kind of feature. But for a general vehicle, this hex code right here, 202042, works. If you're just, if you don't know what else to use, use that and it'll work. When you enter in the number, Make sure you hit enter. Like, say if I was to change it and I'm done typing, hit enter because it doesn't log it for some odd reason for me. It might be different for other people, but, and then click on something else, click back to it, 
and double check it, make sure it did changed. It didn't, and do the same thing with the compound and all that. Just double check it because sometimes that stuff unclips, and you're trying to figure out why your collisions aren't working. Without this compound clicked, none of your normal collisions will work, and you'll drive yourself mad trying to figure out why. Next, we're gonna look at cast shade. This is the receipt, the receiving. Uh, and casting of shadows. You want these two clicked. You also want it non-renderable because your main component is not actually the vehicle itself. It's this, I'm gonna unhide it and then we'll take a look at it. It's this thingy right here. Uh, it's usually a non-renderable shape, simple shape that you could design. And uh, when you have this clicked, it just disappears. The collision is still there, and that's basically what, how the mod is going to react and handle is to the dynamics and shape of that. Next, distance blending. If it'll blend in with the distance, you want that clicked. That's pretty much it for what your main component needs to be like. There's no shaders or anything attached because it's hidden, non-renderable. Sorry, it's not hidden. There's a difference between hidden and non-renderable. Visibility would be hidden non-renderable makes it like right here boop boop remove okay moving on to the next topic all right i have the mod disk open for this and you're going to look up we're going to start at the top you're going to make sure it all looks like that mod disk disk version changed for it from 40 32 whatever it is you want it to be 62 that's at the time of recording this video so that could change the best way to find that out uh, David has a really good method. Also, the simplest one is to check out a mod somebody's uploaded recently and look at the mod disk number is. This will be your version number. So I do version. This is my pack. It's the first time for FS22, so it's version number one. Uh, version two, an update, would be something like that. People may do that differently. Some people do the game. Uh, the name of your mod, and you can go in later on and do, like, this is German. I'm not going to cover this too much because I think I covered this in my last video pretty well. But the key points here is the icon file. I've had people talk about this to where they go to change uh, what the image is. And this is, this icon file is the one that displays when you're loading your mod in-game. What I mean is these bad boys right here. These is the icon file. Now, don't get that confused when we start looking further into the mod here. When we start looking at the image inside of the XML uh, under the store data, this can also be the identical same image, but usually they are different sizes. Uh, given that one's displayed in the store a little bit bigger, but you can get by with just the exact same image. But these are different. If you want different files to line up, you need to make sure it lines up. So we're actually, we're going to go check that really fast. This is the store and store.dds. Is it there? I'm converting this file. I don't trust myself. I might have screwed up like another modder, right? You might have forgot something. So we're going to go to here, store. Boom. It's under there, store. Now, I like to look at these, and the dimensions is in a 512 by 512. That's inside of our dimensional category of, like, you can go 1024 by 512 or a 512 by 256 or a 2448 by 2448 or 124 by, 240, by 2048. Whatever size, as long as it's it's, like, half of it. You don't need 4K images. If you have an image that is 24 megabytes, you need to downgrade it. The game is not going to like it. Okay. Next, we're going to look at specializations. A lot of times, this is special Lua scripts that are added on. Because the light script is not yet converted for in the game, I am just going to block comment. Because of how fast things have been getting converted, I, I'm kind of kicking myself on other mods I've done where I've removed this script. Uh, or, or like the login script and stuff, and now I have to reinstall it back in there rather than just uncommenting it. So if you have something that you have no clue what it is, or you're like, oh, that's what makes it flash or whatever, and you can't 
find a Lua, an updated FS22 Lua, just uncommon it right now that's above your head. It, pardon me, it may be above your head. Just don't worry about it right now. Let's get the mod working in game first. Next is the categorizer mod thingy. If you see this in a game, it's probably gonna work. Uh, if not, find another mod that has the Lua and copy and paste a working version of the Lua in there and then try it out with all the normal code. So the normal code for that would be this mod change title and new category. These do exactly what they say. And then, so for right now, I know those are working. We're just gonna keep going down the line. Next, I have vehicle types. It is nothing too crazy. Uh, this tension belt objects, all vehicles in the game are strappable now, so I don't need that on both of these. I'm gonna remove both of those brands. Okay, now we're searching for another image again in a file path. I like to check all file paths. And so it's under Lambo Mods, Brands, Brand.dds. This should be my logo. So we're going to go peek around here. Look at that. Oh, it is there. Brands. There we go. So I got Lambo, Brands, Brands, Lambo, Brands, Brands. Sweet. It's there. Next. Moving on. Store item. This is where it loads in the truck and the gurney. You have to understand that is it'll load this in first and all this information can be perfect or not. If you don't see it on this screen right here, then you're having errors. No, I want to go back. I want that screen. Then you're having errors in your mod disk. So let's go track these down. And I already know that they're there because I have them open because I found them they're there, just, just trust me. <laughs> so next we're gonna start looking up here at all this fancy new stuff. In newer mods, I like to have open, so this is working. Let me jump around for a hot second, sorry, gentlemen. All right, now we're coming on into it. Ambulance truck, we already created that inside of here. Ambulance truck matches up with the vehicle type. We're good. Moving down, annotation, the name, it's an ambulance truck. You can change all that. Functions, that's good. We know that the image is there. The price is fine. A category, brand, I taught you about brand. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. We could put ambulance in there. Uh, we need to make sure that the i3D for this is there. It's located under i3D, vehicle1.i3D. So let's go track it down. It's there, vehicle1, i3D format. It's the one we've been updating. Length. So at this is the next point that I've already showed you guys the basics in another video on how to convert uh, little things. The first is going to be the sheem. It's always the sheem because that's, or I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm probably failing beyond all belief at saying that correctly. But the very first thing you're going to want to do is have another working mod open or an in-game uh, some type of in-game vehicle. That way, like, I have the heli here. And what this is going to do is I can copy this sheem, I think that's how you say it, and this old one doesn't work anymore. So we'll just get rid of that. I have a few other things that I need to go through and do this as well. Might as well come with me. And right here under my attacher joints, I've just kind of scrolled down and I'm going to stop on things that need to be fixed. There is no more sounds, so I'm going to take that out of there. Same thing under drivable sounds, the water splash. We're going to pull that out of there. Uh, unit text override. I think that's what the this needs to be changed to let us just double check really quiet quick inside of a working mod unit text override that's under fill unit configurations so fill unit configurations you need to change this right here should work just perfect okay going down the line i know i'm gonna forget something here i'm trying to really 
fast but accurately. So this sounds file, this is gonna be the start to one of our problems. Uh, for the time being, this is an ambulance truck, really basic, should be a truck sound. So what we should actually do is locate a truck sound that is close. I'm going to guess the newer truck that the game offers. And to do that, we would locate the data file, farming simulator data, usually found under Steam, Steam apps, common farming simulator data, mouthfuls, and then go to lizard. Lizard, lizard, where are you at, you little lizard? Okay, now that we're here, we're gonna have pickup 2017. Open this bad boy up. See, it has a sounds file in here with its own little loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap into that. And we're gonna go right here where it says sounds under bass. Giants has moved it up here. We're just gonna copy that. Since we deleted it out of there, scroll back up to bass really fast. And we're just going to paste it in here. Perfect, right? All right. <laughs> Go back down. No! Oh, there's one under lights that I missed. This light switch on and off turn light thing. We got to get rid of that too. Lights. No lights in the XML. I think there is codes to make the lights work. But it will just sit there and dink around on me. I like to do it like this because it's the new way to do it in the game. All right, you might as well start converting soon. Sorry, I'm just scrolling here, but we will find something else. Hydraulics. Okay, under sim under cylindered, we're just going to remove this. Motor starting, don't touch anything there. Same thing with the honk file. We're just going to remove that because there is no longer honking. In here, you honk in the sound file. Honking around. Okay. That all looks dandy. Now we get to extra stuff. This isn't going to be in every single mod. This is actually probably the more advanced mods to try to show you a tutorial on. And I'm sorry about that. But it's an interesting one. Because I now have to go into Blender once I make sure all this works. And convert all these lights to work in this game so for the time being we're actually just gonna block this all out I don't want to get rid of it because those are the shaders or the, those are the nodes and I'd have to go and type all that stuff back up again uh, options I obviously got lazy here and just never finished doing it vehicle type configurations Never came up with additional stuff. Base materials, you can't change the color on this because I have custom textures. Now that should be, I know there's something. There's got to be something that I forgot. Uh, if I find it, I'll hit record. If not, we're going to zip it up and try it out. All right, under moving parts, I found something. Uh, you need to make sure if you have moving parts at all, each part. If it has this is active dirty, it, which it's going to require it, it's also we're going to require max update distance. And you can just copy and paste it if you have another mod. If not, you can type it out. But it is going to throw an error for that. And it should walk you through how to fix it. But I'm trying to catch you before you do. At that note, we're going to zip it up and check it out in the next video, guys. So hit that like button. Subscribe. Welcome to the channel. You're the man. I'm trying to build it up. We're almost at 10K. So I hope this video was better with the mic. I tried to fix it. Discord was hijacking it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You're the man.